All right, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Bearded Brad. Tonight, I just wanted to do a quick little video for y'all, show y'all the best rig to use for catching whiting. Right now, during the winter months, whiting is one of the easiest fish to target right now. Some of the other bites are a little slow. We got some pompano here and there. Uh, but the main thing that we can catch right now and is pretty easy to catch is gonna be whiting. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all real quick how I tie my rigs, what hooks I use, what kinds of beads I use and stuff like that. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. Let's go ahead, dive right into it. All right, y'all, so here are the items that we need to start off with tying this whiting rig. I like to either use a 10 pound or a 15 pound fluorocarbon. This one over here is the P-Line fluorocarbon. This one over here is the Yozuri uh, 15 pound. And I really like to stick with the fluorocarbon when going with these fish. It just kind of helps that line hide a little bit, I think. Um, I've had the best success with it, so that's what I stick with. If whiting is pretty much the only thing I've been catching, I'll stick over with the 10 pound. If I've been catching some pompano and maybe some redfish, I might go ahead and bump up to the 15 uh, just to make sure I'm not getting cut off or anything like that. So let's go ahead and jump right into how we're gonna tie this rig. So for today's presentation, I do have 40 pound uh, fluorocarbon here just so we can see it a little better on camera. This is 40 pound. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and start off with about five to six foot roughly um, that's going to give us enough to do our drops as well as have some cut off uh, if it ends up being a little long you can just cut the end off and get it right where you want it to be uh, but definitely want to start with enough line so i got roughly five foot or so here and so to start off this rig we're just going to start with a little barrel swivel no idea what size this is uh, we're fishing for whiting doesn't really matter just want to start with something small I'm just gonna tie that on one end here. That is gonna be our uni to uni knot is what I like to use to tie this on. I like to go at least four or five times. Again, when we're fishing for whiting, um, not, a, not the end of the world to go ahead and tie, wrap that thing six, seven, eight times. Again, most of these fish we're fishing for are pretty small, so. Got my barrel swivel tied on there. I don't have my scissors on hand right now, so I'm not gonna worry about the tag in right this second. All right, so once you got that barrel swivel on, I'm gonna go ahead and go down about 12 to 14 inches or so, pinch the line. Then I'm gonna go down another 12 inches or so, and I'm gonna make a loop with that line. This is going to give us a loop right here. You'll see that. If you've been tying double drop pompano rigs, it's the exact same thing. The only difference between the pompano and the whiting is what we're actually going to put on these drops. But I'm going to go ahead and show you all the whole process now. So once you have this first loop here, again, this end is over top. And then so I'm going to loop it under and through one two, three, four, five, six. So you wanna go really at least five, six times or so. And that's gonna create a bunch of little loops right there. We're gonna pick somewhere right in the middle. Separate those two ends apart like so. And we're gonna take the bottom side of our loop that we created and I'm gonna run it right through that hole where you separate those two. I'm gonna pinch it with my teeth. So after you pinch that and pull it tight that is gonna create that first dropper loop there. Again roughly 12 inches or so from the top. And now we're just gonna do the exact same thing. Hold your first finger here. Go d down another 12 inches or so. Do your pinch, make you another loop, just like so. And now we're gonna take the opposite end and run it over. And again, five, six times. 
once you do this a few times, you kind of get the hang of it. All right, so then again, out of those little loops we created, you're gonna find one about in the center. Run the bottom side, whoop, kinda got a mess going here. Find about the center. We're gonna take this bottom side, run it right up through there again. Again, gotta use your teeth with this. Pull it tight like so. And that is gonna make dropper number two. And then so from that point, I'm just gonna go ahead and go all the way to the end of my line here. You see there, there's the end there. And I'm gonna make a loop. All right, so I'm just gonna bring this over about five, six inches. I'm gonna get my tag in right over here. And what I'm gonna do is pinch right up by the tag end. And this is what I'm gonna use to hold my weight on. I'm just gonna do a little overhand knot. And I'm gonna run that through twice just like so. I'm gonna to try to make sure that knot pinches down as closer towards the tag end. And so that is gonna give me a nice little loop like that. And I don't have a weight on me right now. But what you're gonna do is with this, with this end over here, you'll just pinch it and you'll run that right through the top of your weight and then you'll loop it down underneath the weight and pull the weight through. And that'll do a little clinch knot over that weight. Then you don't have the extra expense or the extra metal on your leader um, to do a snap swivel. So this kind of just saves the snap swivel. That's the way I like to connect my weights. All right, so next up for the whiting rig is we got our beads. I know a lot of y'all with Pompano rigs, we use a lot of different floats, different sizes, different colors. Well, with whiting rigs, I like to just stick with a bead. These two I got today, I got an orange and pink, and then I got a blue and pink. Uh, but, but really any color you wanna use is just fine. And so I'm gonna take one bead and thread it on this drop. Just like so. And then probably one of the more important things for the whiting rig is a hook. So this right here is a size four circle hook. So I'm gonna show all that a little better. Size four circle hook right there. Definitely wanna go smaller when you're targeting these smaller fish. Sometimes the eyes on these hooks, well, that one ran on really simple. So sometimes the eye of the hook is a little small. So what you can do is use your teeth Pinch down the end of this leader here. That'll make that a little smaller and it'll go through, but this went through pretty easy. So anyways, once that that line is through the eye of the hook, you just wanna take your hook and run it right through the center of those two lines. Grab the hook and pull it tight. And that is gonna connect, Let's see if we can focus that is gonna connect that hook to that leader. And here's that bead right there. That way we don't have anything too crazy going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down to my next drop. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna feed. Ah! Bead on the loose, bead on the loose. I'm gonna feed that bead right onto that drop. And got another size four circle hook. See, this one goes on as easy. It did. Go right through just like that. Feed it right on through the middle. Pull it tight. And there you have it. I got my second drop right there with the bead. All right, so it's as simple as that. Got my double drop rig right there. Got my two different color beads on there, my size four circle hooks. This is gonna be a perfect rig for catching those whiting right now. Kind of the best fish to target the, throughout the winter here on the Gulf Coast. Uh, so I hope that video helped y'all out. If you have any other questions, comment down below. 
let me know what you want to know and I will try to answer those the best that I can. I'm going to post a video um, up in the right hand corner. Y'all go check it out. I'm going to show y'all how I catch the whiting with this rig. But if that video helps you out, big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos coming up in the future. And until next time, y'all take care.